hey guys what's up Moses here at the driver success channel I hope you guys are doing well I made a video and talked about things that you should think about when going into training and in that video I promised that I was gonna share with you uh, a few things that you should pack during training and that is what I intend to do in this video all right so uh, I'm not going to be telling you everything you need to pack because of course you guys know what you need like clothes, socks, underwear, all that stuff. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you everything. I'm just going to give you a little bit of guidance, right? And also talk about some of the things you may not have thought about or things you may not know about. So let's start with clothes because um, for the most part when people think about uh, parking, it's clothes that comes to mind. When you get into the truck, into training, most of the time you're just going to walk around to do a pre-trip and for the most part you're going to be seated driving that truck for however long it takes, right? So most of the time you're going to be seated in the truck. Hopefully you have your temperature set on the conducive um, temperature, but you're not going to do a lot of sweating unless um, you are doing like, like flatbed or you are doing accounts that require you to load and unload so if you're just gonna be doing mostly driving inside the truck my advice is that you don't pack a lot of clothes uh, save your space for food more than for clothes for clothes if you get yourself two pair of jeans and maybe a cup of shirts maybe three or four uh, t-shirts that should be enough what you need a lot of though is uh, underwears i have like maybe two weeks worth of underwears because i figure you should be able to do laundry every about two weeks at a truck stop uh, if if you get a trainer who is not stopping and you're not going back home tell them that you need to do laundry so that you stop by the truck stop every two weeks and do laundry so the two pa pair of jeans and maybe catchy pants or whatever you want and um, maybe like three or four t-shirts should be enough for you to take you through the two weeks right so every two weeks do laundry so what you need mostly of um, uh, underwears when it comes to clothes now the other thing that you need to remember to pack probably you're gonna pack it but I just need to mention it because some of you may may forget it at truck stops they do give us towels but personally again this is a personal preference i don't use those towels for for myself so uh, i like carrying my own towel or let me say i used to carry my own towel because i'm no longer over the law uh, over the road so carry your own towel the other thing you need to remember is again uh maybe a sponge or face towel whatever you use to scrub yourself do carry that too again they provide you with uh, face towels at uh, truck stops are uh, washcloths i don't use them so carry your own washcloth or sponge and then the other thing you need to remember to bring with you are uh, uh, baby wipes you could use them you could uh, look for sanitary wipes but i like the baby wipes uh, what you want those for because as i said you probably won't be taking a shower every day uh, if you depending on what it will depend on what trainer you get if you get a good trainer who loves taking showers every day then you will be taking showers every day but in case you don't take a shower you want to have baby wipes and those are good because what you do you'll be wiping yourself because when you don't take a shower you just get out your wipes and wipe yourself with those um, um, baby baby wipes and then you need a small detergent remember i said you're gonna be um doing laundry probably every two weeks so just get yourself a small packet of detergent because if you don't get that and you buy it at truck stops it's gonna be expensive so carry a very small um a small packet of detergent that you will use whenever you are doing laundry the other thing you need is a hand sanitizer you need this right this will be helpful for you in case <clears throat> in case you know like you go to places where you really need to to, to make sure you wipe uh, your hands clean 
the other thing is uh, don't forget to get a pair of work gloves because every now every time you are cranking up the landing gear and every time you um, um, you are closing doors or doing something with your hands you may need to have work gloves now don't worry about all the other stuff because your trainer will have the things like the flashlights and all that stuff. Don't worry about that until you get your own truck. But you need to worry about getting your own work gloves. Now, the reason why I say pack light when it comes to clothes is because you want to keep most of your packing space for food. Eating on the road is expensive you want to take a lot of food now i can't show you uh, the food right here but i have some ideas that i want to share with you what to pack when it comes to food i'm gonna stop this video right here and then when i get home i will continue with it i will hop onto the computer go onto the walmart website and show you give you some ideas of some of the foods that you need to take uh for uh, on the road are uh, foods that will be easy okay but uh, talking about food one of the things that you need uh, you need to remember if you're somebody that loves tea or coffee take a flask okay take a flask with you uh, it will be cheaper if you have a flask also take a microwaveable uh, bowl or dish uh, or container and take also a microwaveable cup because when I show you the food you should pack, you need to have a microwaveable container or dish or bowl, whatever you want to get it, and a microwaveable cup, and you need a flask. Those are going to save you uh, a lot of money. So, again, as I said, when I get home, I'll go on the website and I will show you, uh, I'll give you some ideas of the things that you should pack for your food because you need to pack a lot of food in order to save money on the road so i hope this helps you out if you have any questions again send me an email moses at driversuccess.com about anything regarding um, life or tracking and then i'll do my best to answer those questions if you want to be part of jb hunt again hit me up uh, you can go to the website driversuccess.com but right now i'm gonna hop into a door uh, in um somebody's coming out of the door that i need to get into and then i'll resume this video when i get home uh, i'll go on the computer and i'll let you guys uh, know what foods to take all right guys hey guys what's up moses here at the driver success channel so as i promised i'm here um, on the walmart website i'm gonna try and make this video real short and quick because i'm tired i want to go to sleep but i remember that one of the things i needed to tell you that i forgot is you will need a bathroom slippers or whatever you call them maybe you call them flip-flops or, or whatever you call them anyway uh, you will need like this or these right here the sandals or slippers i call them slippers are the ones to use like when you're taking a shower uh, so I used to take uh, those with me so that when I'm taking a shower I don't I didn't want to just uh, you know like step on the floor of or of the bathrooms so I, I, I always uh, had I packed my own uh, slippers to make sure that uh, I have those on anyway just wanted to remember to tell you that but what I wanted to show you really is um, let me put in microwaveable foods, right? Because that's what I want. I want to show you, give you an idea of some. <laughs> what did I write? Okay, so uh, something like that. This I used to take this. I used to like this. Um, but what did microwave? I used to take those those are nice um, but here as you can see for those of you who like uh, like uh, mac and cheese I'm not a fan of mac and cheese but these can be really uh, good loaded uh, potatoes uh, these right here um, you see like for two dollars 
this is going to be less expensive than uh, if you had to buy food in the um, uh, at truck stops okay uh, okay here are some others i used to like uncle ben's rice uh, they have different flavors uh, that's something you may want to take too uh, these are also good but i just wanted to give you an idea of uh, some of the things that you need to take the other thing that i used to love to take was um, what do they call them um, in noodles uh, it's not i know um i'll show you the ones i didn't like the. i'm not a fan of the ramen noodles but i'll show you the ones that i love that i used to take like these balls right here these these right here these i used to like, to like because they have it like in different flavors too so this can also be a nice and easy to make so i used to take these i used to take the other ones that i showed you then uncle ben's uh rice i used to take um oh my god i don't see it but the other thing is, um, what do they call it? Uh, baked beans. Uh, I forget. These, the bush uh, baked beans. They have them in small sizes, the smaller sizes. I used to take those too. Uh, so this just gives you an idea of some of the stuff. And with me, I used to buy some of this stuff in bulk instead of buying one by one. Uh, if you have a Costco membership and you find some of these uh, foods that you can bake um, in uh, in uh, Costco, or I used to go to in California, we had Smart and Final. I would buy uh, such stuff in Smart and Final, and also I would take snacks. You need to find snacks that you love and pack snacks. If you guys have a place where you can uh, buy things in bulk, it will be even uh, uh, cost effective when you buy in bulk instead of buying them one by one. So uh, if you can find like, as I said, in California, we had uh, Smart and Final and then I used to also go to uh, Costco. So for those of you who have like Sam's Club, Costco, or if you, you have access to some of the places where you can buy in bulk, I would advise that you buy in bulk. In bulk. I used to, I think I made a video where I talked about uh, this um, uh, powdered milk. I love uh, milk and as I, I've, I've told you guys, I like drinking um, tea. So I would buy uh, a pack of tea leaves and also um, I would buy like get myself coffee um instant coffee and also buy this um, needle it says kinda one plus they have different ones but this is the particular one that i like the one that says kinda uh, i found this to be really better than the others but you can try whatever you want to try but i used to buy this and so i would get this and then i would buy myself cereal um, so when you have cereal you just uh, use uh, this milk to stir in cereal this is powdered milk by the way so i would get i like honey patches of course again i would get it from costco and then so i would have that for my breakfast um and then with with milk and then also as i said you take i take a uh, flask so most of my stuff i would do um a microwavable meals and then every now and then i would also buy uh, from maybe uh, if we stopped at somewhere where i wanted to buy something different from what i uh, i had then i would do that but if you want to save money again just go into walmart and go in the um, a microwavable meal section and look for microwavable meals and pack as much as you can it will save you a lot of money uh, also you can uh, take a cereal with you i mean a snacks with you because you will need those there are times when 
you may end up in a place where you don't have um, a microwave and tracking is funny you may find yourself in a stuck in a place where you don't have a microwave and you have to rely on on a snack and maybe a cup of water or whatever so pack as uh, 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 find your your uh, the snacks that you love and pack as many uh, as much as you can right as many packets as you can all right guys until next time stay blessed and stay safe and tired i need to go meet the sun i'll talk to you next time Bye -bye.